So wait, because of what? I will now, in this my big age, this my big self, we now go and start toasting a man. Like, I'll say a man now, start saying, I like to know you more and everything. See, it's different from you giving a guy a green light, which we all know. But this is outright going to make the first move. Hey, <laughs> hey, I can't do. I know fit. I, I, I too get pride. I too get pride. And even my Bible does not say that. You go and pursue them. It says that we come to me. Like, Adam found Eve, not the other way around. So... Hello global citizens, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ono Zassi and this is Salvation Therapy. This is a community where we learn, we grow, we understand the mind of God on all societal topics. Yes, this is the home for you. So if you're just coming on here, please subscribe and yeah, shout out to all my new service. Shout out to my new service. I am so, so, so happy happy glad joyful to have you guys here this community is worth every minute of your time and your data so let's get into this conversation i have been seeing things so you know people have been trying to use english to sugarcoat things like um sometimes the man doesn't know what you should do so you can go and talk to him when you talk to him his eyes will now open first of all ladies and gentlemen every man know what they should do Take it from me. Men are not stupid. Men are not silly. A man can be shy. A man can be timid. But let me tell you something. When he knows that he really wants this woman, there is no timidity. Don't let anybody fool you. Oh, because you're already getting old. You don't have to be doing shakara with all this men. No. Anytime you see them, just grab them. Just kill them. Kill them. They are heaven. They are the kingdom of God. Calm down. Calm down, girl. Calm down. So there are so many, so many school of thought all around us telling us how good it is for us to go and be pursuing men. First of all, my dear, my dear, God did not create us to go and be pursuing men. Instead, do you know how much God loves the woman? Yes, God loves us. So instead, we are to be pursued. And this is the reason why I am having this video done for you, my girl, because don't get into that train don't get into that world where everybody's telling you grab your copies and all oh, what is going on now like just grab your copy anyhow it comes take him from the left put him on the right side you know that's no scripture that's not the mindset of god for us that's not what god that's not how god has ordained it okay there is a need for you to be seen and god will open the eyes of the man that needs to see you and then you can start praying to god i even feel like you can do the prayers like pray to god wherever this man is let him see me let him recognize me let me recognize him that's a better way than for you to just believe that a man likes you and then what happens if he really doesn't like you if he doesn't like you see men do the chasing that's how god has created it that's how god has planned it men do the chasing if you do the chasing you will keep chasing him ladies if you do the chasing you keep chasing him so let him do the hard work let him do the chasing if you believe that he is the one and he's not seeing you go to god in prayers and say oh father i know that he's the one so open his eyes for me but be very sure that it's not your desire it's not your want it is not you just liking the guy and believing that he is the one because of some sort of kind gestures all right so let's get that out of the way and that let us get that very clear okay so let's know that okay this is what god is saying all right so there is no need for there's only for all that rubbish now what are the steps that you need to take to keep yourself sane number one stop putting yourself under pressure stop letting age determine your decisions oh you're 30 something now oh you're in your late 20s oh you're almost 40 or oh, you're 40 something don't let pressure like stop putting yourself under pressure before external pressure comes there must have been internal pressure okay so do not put yourself under any form of pressure instead stay with god instead be calm see the bible says that none shall lack her mates you will not lack your own when your own comes it will come so and it is when not if that person will come it is a matter of when not if okay but you have to be calm if you are not settled if you allow societal pressure um, on age get into your system you will not see what god is doing and you would end up go to enter into marriage that you would not enjoy and the sole purpose of marriage is for companionship is to fulfill the purpose and the grace of god it's to fulfill the purpose and the grace of god so every minute every time 
every second. You need to know that Jesus wants you to have a good home and you have to be calm. You have to be calm. You have to be very calm. You have to be calm. And number two, when you are calm, you have to shun distractions. It can be from your family. It can be from your mom. Ah, my goodness. African mothers, they be liking some sort of distractions. Oh, my friend's daughter just got married. Oh, my kiniko kiniko. Oh. See, you need to let them realize that if you get married to the wrong person, they're not going to be in the marriage with you. And you also need to tell yourself that, that your mother has gotten married and just had you right so she should just calm down so that you can make the right decisions for yourself not for her okay so because they think about the wedding they don't think about the home they are about the wedding about them just telling their friends that oh my daughter is married now my daughter has five kids now house four kids now house two kids now can come if that's what they want but you need to realize that it's more than that it is more deeper than that it's deeper than you just um getting married because you want to satisfy your mother or your parents or your father as the case may be or a group of friends it could even be a group of friends oh you're the only person that's not married amongst your group of friends but you want to stay with god and marry right so shun any form of distraction stay away from people that would put pressure on you unhealthy kind of pressure stay away from them then celebrate yourself enjoy the singleness enjoy it celebrate yourself celebrate what god is doing through you because it is a journey it is a phase marriage is forever i always say something that they don't give people prize like first to come last to go first to come last to come first to go last. they don't do that it's forever and it is the reason why you have you have waited this far you have to wait and wait well and enjoy your decision of waiting because it doesn't make sense that you wait and you gotta end up marrying rubbish oh come on now we don't that's not that's not it that is not it and that's not the plan of god for your life do you get celebrate yourself and celebrate your journey because this single world is a journey focus on what god wants you to do this season let god teach you what he's preparing you for let god show you and let him teach you what he's preparing you for because there is a preparation here god is preparing you for something see with God, there's no phase of your life that God is not intentional about. He's intentional about every phase of your life. So you have to be calm to see and let him. Let him. So focus on God. Don't focus on the, or on anything. Focus on God. Celebrate yourself. Let God show you the assignment that he has for you this season. Let him show you. Okay? Don't rush and go and enter into a place that God has not ordained for you. Marriage is actually very deep. And that's one thing that people don't know. Relationship marriage is quite deep. People don't know that they see the wedding and they think it's all about the wedding. It's not all about the wedding. This is a covenanted union. This is a union that in two days, you would know if you have entered one chance or you have entered the real chance. You have entered the real life. I mean, the life ordained for God. by The, the, the life ordained by God for you okay so you have to stay with god it is very important that you stay with god i need to remind you again that men have not finished on earth men haven't finished in this world and most importantly god has his sons god has his men god is ready to give you his own son so once you realize that your heavenly father knows what you need and we give you what you need that's one period. That's all that you need to be calm, to be restful, not to be restless. You just have to get into it. What did I say? You have to get into it. Realize that, see, God has me in mind. God knows what I want. God understands my need and he's not, he's not shy to give me. He would not deprive me of what I need. God has his sons just as God has his daughters and you are one of his daughters. So he's going to give you his son. You cannot go and borrow son from the enemy of you cannot, as a new creature, as one that has that has a new life in Christ, you can't go and marry a dead body, okay? Because Jesus has given you life. Going to Satan to pick one of his sons is like you marrying a corpse. And you can't do that to yourself. Lastly, breathe. Enjoy. Breathe. Enjoy. See, enjoy every part of now. Enjoy every part of now. You have your time to yourself. You can go out. You can make decisions by yourself. Because by the time the other person comes, ah, you're gonna be taking you know permission. Should we do this? Should we do that? Before you know it, you're pregnant. Before you know it, you don't have your time anymore. You start craving the single life. I tell you this for free because I have friends that are married. I've been married for quite a while, and they sometimes envy me. Yeah, <laughs> that's what. That's what's up. Okay, so um. You just have to be very calm and let God do his thing in your life. And you are going to be toasting man. 
because they are trying to use English to trigger quote it for you. That's a no-no. Anyway, please let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Do not forget to share your thoughts with me. What do you think? Do you have a contrary opinion? Let's have a conversation in the comment section. But remember, it has to be gospel-based, the truth-based, word-based. Okay? Do not forget to like this video. Do not forget to subscribe. I will see you again. I love you all.